So most of us understand the correlation between these things and this antenna right here. But there are even more correlations that most of us never even think about. Like, take a look at this drone show that just happened at Comic-Con this year. It came alive when the Futurama characters showed up in the sky. This is technology that's being enabled by satellites. We use this stuff every single day, most of us at least, if you're using Google Maps or Apple Maps, or whatever it may be, you're accustomed to GPS. And you guys know how accurate those things are when you're traveling on one lane and it thinks you're in the other. Or if you're in the city, for example, if GPS is just awful with the reflections from buildings and everything else that goes on, it can never seem to pinpoint your location. But there is a solution and you and I can benefit tremendously from it. I'm talking about passive income through crypto, which is what this channel is all about with this little guy right here, which changes the game. Let's just jump right into this. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Action and I talk about passive income through cryptocurrency a lot on this channel. And if you're watching this video, hopefully you care a little bit about that. But on top of it, I think that the science behind it all is actually pretty stinking cool. And for us to understand what are viable options for us to put our hard earned money into the same way that I did myself, you gotta understand what's happening behind it. So let's dive in a little bit deeper and make it a little fun while we're at it. Thank you for having me. Most people understand GPS to be global positioning system, which is correct. However, there are plenty of other constellations. That's right. GPS is a government run constellation of satellites. When we're talking about the grand scheme of things, we move over to something called GNSS, which is the Global Navigation Satellite System. And this is where there are a lot more satellites that come into play. Not more satellites only, but also base stations. And this is where things get really fun. And I'm sure you saw this clip where you have drones creating incredible art displays. And if we want to do something like this, we can't rely simply on GPS. It's just not accurate enough. If you have ever pulled out your phone while you're in the highway and you're on the fast lane, let's say an HOV and it tells you to get off, you can't do it because, well, your GPS does not understand how far away you are. We're talking a nine to 16 feet of variance when it comes to that signal. Instead, what we're talking about here is centimeter accuracy. So how do we fix this problem? It is not very different from the current setup we still have the same type of parameters built in. We have the satellites speaking to base stations on Earth, then the base stations on Earth sending back information, letting the satellites know the exact positioning and any deviations that they might be experiencing. Now, the third piece is your phone. It's the application that you're using it for. And the problem is that there just aren't enough base stations for accurate, detailed measurements. This is where you come in and where the blockchain excels. It's decentralizing a system to provide more accurate po points, more accurate locations that the satellites can talk back and forth with, therefore creating greater accuracy. Oh, that's kind of how the system works. That's how this entire system functions. You have the satellites and you have the base stations and you can be a base station provider. That's how you're going to get rewarded. Now, the crazy thing, as far as numbers are concerned, it's not cheap to have one of these base stations if you're running it on your own. It's a few thousand dollars and it takes a lot of work to set up. It's has, it has just has not been convenient. And this is groundbreaking because it's putting the power back in the hands of the people. That's why I like it. Now, let's talk about what these guys have been up to and like where they're going next. And I'll make it brief because I don't want to bore you. I want to make sure you get some really cool information here. Take a look at their website. So this is Yields at Net's website and you can buy, you know, uh, equipment with tokens, which is actually really cool. Something that they launched for this unit specifically, there is a thing here that says Laura. Um, one is the Wi-Fi Bluetooth antenna, which is this little guy right here. The middle one is the GNSS. You already learned that from Mr. Smart Brains over there. Um, but then you also have one that says Laura. Now they actually changed this and they upgraded this unit um, to have more bands for you to communicate back and forth with the satellite with, but you need an upgrade. And I will be, make sure to show exactly how that upgrade works on the next video that I talk about GeoNet because I am sticking around making sure that these guys get the you know recognition they deserve. Now, if I move over to the about the team page here, Mike, you guys should 
totally meet Mike. And I think that there needs to be like an interview or just a sit down, you know, talk where Mike came from, what he's all about. Um, a lot of times I say this in this channel that I don't mind necessarily giving my money to a project if the project isn't everything that I want it to be, as long as I know who I'm giving the money to. And that revolves around the people behind it. And that's the same thing with uh, VCs. Like that's what they do a lot of times. They look at, okay, who is leading the charge here? I believe in that person. I'm just going to give him my money. And it's been very profitable for me to do so. Um, and again, never financial advice in this channel, just things that I do that help me. And if you can gather some knowledge, some um, insight from the things that I'm doing, happy day, we all win. That's what the, you know, this channel is all about. And it's also about, you know, making sure that we're working that algorithm. So if you haven't left a comment down below, leave a comment down below, because that's how um, YouTube goes. Hey, people are watching the video. Nevertheless, let's keep going because Mike is a good dude and he's been in this in this whole, you know, satellite thing for a while. And that's why I want to, you know, talk to him and share the insights that he has into this ecosystem that I never thought existed before starting the conversation with him. Now, I did a video on GeoNet about seven months ago and I talked about how many you know units were online, all that sort of thing. Take a look at the current map and I'll just load it right here with you guys. We got 3,308 miners found. This means we're early, still early. What happened was that when they launched, it wasn't the bull market. It was still in the bear and people were not looking to spend money on devices. They've been growing slowly and steadily, which is really cool because it allows them to focus on sales. And you know that if you have a project and you're not generating revenue, you're dead in the water. Um, there's only so much money to go around and it's just not worth it. But now with these miners, uh, the way I'm looking at it, if you can make your money back in about six months or so and then, you know, earn passively for the next 10 years, that's a huge win in my book. And that's what I want to see happen with these devices. And that's what I want for all of you guys. Right now, they have an 84.7% um, stable units. You have some unstable that may be due to connection, that may be due to placement moving around, a lot of different things. And then you have 11.9%, which I am a part of right now because I did unplug this guy to show you guys what it looks like. But let's look at the map. And this is where I really get excited about this. If you look around the globe, there are units all over the place um even in winnipeg right there number seven um not a lot in south america now i will let the cat out of the bag and let you guys know that i am um pushing some units down to south america i do have a second channel that is in another language that people will be able to learn about these so there will be more units being deployed um in the americas which is to me pretty stinking cool because i mean that's where we're headed next so you have really nice coverage you know in the romania man romania loves crypto um but unlike that last thing that lost a lot of people money because they got in too late china not not really a lot of stuff going on over there but a lot in new zealand and australia it's a growing network and People are loving it. People are really having a good time because it's not your common rug pull that you see a lot of times with crypto miners, which is really exciting to me. Now, there are links down below for you to be able to pick up your own unit. Um, enjoy it. It's a good time to set these up. Not very difficult at all. You plug it in and you kind of just get going. Um, very, very straightforward, but the upgrade of it is a little bit more cumbersome. So I want to make sure that I do cover that next. Now, what else can I say? Um, Yes, there is a token. There is a cryptocurrency behind this, and it is GeoNet. And I don't even know if I'm supposed to be talking about this or if they want me to talk about this, but I'm doing it anyway, because here's the cool thing that I saw with GeoNet. I and mean, they're up 0.39%. It up doesn't mean much. It can be down you know, 5% in a day, and it doesn't mean anything. If we take a look at the whole, everything that's happened, they launched the token back here at, in all of this was just people. This was not, you know, the the company itself. This is because the token went out and they made it available for people to be able to trade it. That to me is really cool. So it wasn't like some crazy liquidity pool that was going on. This is just the network itself. This is just people making, you know, use of the network. And you can see like they are untapped. And that's why I'm so excited about it. Like 
it's Uniswap, Uniswap and QuickSwap. That is it. So why am I excited about this? You know, this platform, it's still early and the growth has been steady. It has not exploded yet. Um, I've been earning passively for a while now, and I'm just really excited to see this thing take off, which I promise you. Um, oh, no, I don't make promises on the channel, but I'm putting my money down on it. I'm deploying more, more of these units, and I'm just going to go to town on this thing because it's a good, good use of technology, and I just want to be part of it. So if you guys feel the same, make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you you know leave the comment down below like I was talking to you guys about and subscribe to the channel because it does go a long way making sure that this video gets found by more people. I'm going to leave it here and I will go, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you all so much. Take care. All right, real quick, I know I haven't been posting a ton of videos, but things are about to pick back up and I'm excited to bring you guys really cool stuff. I know I've talked about GeoNet, but um, I think they are in the cusp of something big. I know that they are looking to the big marketing push and other people are going to start talking about it. And I don't want any of you to miss out on this. Um, how y'all doing? How y'all been? I know it's been a lot of shorts I've been putting up lately, so the channel doesn't die off, but um, more of these videos are coming. So. I'll say this in, over the next couple of videos that I'll post. Let me know how you guys are doing, what's going on, what you guys are into, if there's anything that you want me to check out, explore, investigate, whatever it may be. Um, that's the reason why I make videos. It's not for me, it's for you. Um, if I didn't have an audience, these would be worthless and I'd be talking to myself all the time, which um, already happens too often as it is. So I really enjoy the fact that you guys are on the other side of this camera watching these videos and supporting the channel. So thank you all so much. Um, I have been super active on Twitter. If you guys have not followed me on Twitter, it's just action underscore CEO, um, running a ton of Twitter spaces and doing a lot of good stuff over there as well. So yeah, check it out. Um, I will be doing way more with people, places, and things, a bunch of different people, projects, and things, you know, very, very, very specific there, but you guys are going to enjoy it. I promise. Thank you all. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.